Hike SEO fans, uh, welcome to this week's video. Um, we were going to do a video all around a recap of our favourite information from Brighton SEO last week, which is a popular SEO conference here in the UK, but um, we decided to change it last minute uh, to something a little bit more pertinent. So we have just um, updated our website, hikeseo.co. Go check it out, let us know your thoughts and feedback. Um, but we wanted to run through something that probably a lot of you have or will do run in at some point, which is an SEO migration, right? Which can be yeah. very, very tricky. Yeah, it can be It can be quite tricky. There's loads of different ones, whether you're kind of doing what we did, where you're kind of refreshing the website as a whole, um, or if you're migrating from uh, one domain to another. Um, most of the stuff that we cover within here will kind of be, it will be applied, applies basically to both. Um, yeah. But uh, yeah, we did the website refresh one, which is easier, but it's still a bit of a headache. Still tricky, you still want to get it right. So if you're doing it for your own website, your client's website, you want to make sure you get it right, because this is where sites fall down big time when it comes to SEO. Yeah, I'd definitely say as well, the more effort and the more work that you put in before the site goes live, the better the outcome and the less headache you're gonna have afterwards, 100%. Yeah. Cool, okay, so we're gonna run through a few bits. So, new SEO. So this is the first thing to look at. So it's kind of basic, right? You're releasing a new website, make sure the SEO on that new website's better, right? So for Hike, for example, we're targeting more keywords. We've got more pages. Uh, we've got better, con pop better copy on those pages. So before we had a lot of boilerplate content, so yeah. content reused, um, is, a, is a site we kind of put together last year. This time we've got more unique copy per page and it's better optimized as well. Um, it's a better site structure, we made sure it's faster as well, we're using less plugins, it's more hard coded. Is yeah, yeah, so we, um, <coughs> we used a theme before on our very first one. What you'll find a lot of the time with themes that they'll come with about 4,000 JavaScript libraries yeah. that you don't use, you only lose one or two. Um, so we stripped all of that back to try and make it faster as well. Yeah, so make sure you've got better SEO, but make sure you move the valuable SEO stuff as well. Don't forget that. So plugins, if you've got any plugin data, make sure it's moved over. I put technical SEO, but metadata, canonicalization, href lang, um, anything like that, make sure you're moving over the old SEO to the new site. Yeah, tracking as well, so you can make sure you, you know what is working and what isn't afterwards, which we'll come down to, but to be able to do that, you need to actually have analytics installed on the new one as well. Yep. Um, awesome, so the next thing you do is redirects. So um, basically what you need to try and do is you need to try and make sure that if any pages that were on your existing site that are now not on your new site, you need to make sure that they're redirected. Um, you can either 301 or 302. The best way to do it is a 301 redirect if that page is never coming back because that's a permanent redirect. 302 is temporary. If you're maybe going to put the page back later down the line when you've got more time to write the content, use a 302. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, use a 301. Make sure as well, what you probably will have done is over the years, you might have had old redirects that you had in place. Um, make sure that you take them over because they'll still apply. Then pages that weren't on your site three versions ago still won't be on your new site potentially. So mm. make sure you take them over. Have a look at index pages as well. So make sure you've got a Google Search Console set up. It's the best tool that you can use for it. You bar can, hike. Bar hike, obviously. Um, but you can also use a site operator as well. Um, so you use a site operator and then your URL afterwards to see what Google's got within their index. Um, and then you can also use Google Analytics as well. Have a look at what pages people were visiting on your old site and check to see if they all exist on the new site. Um, and the last thing is just make sure you redirect images. You may use them um, in email signatures or uh, in different kind of locations across the web, not just on your website. So if it's Google that, Images. People yeah. get so much traffic with Google Images and then they lose it because yeah. they haven't redirected it. So those images just aren't going to their website anymore. They haven't got, and also, a lot of people get links from images. You know, imagine like someone um, has got a blog and they decide to use an image and they use an image from your website. That's actually a backlink. So if you don't do it, you're gonna lose a lot of valuable backlinks as well, potentially. 100%. Cool, yeah, so make sure you do redirect. For, and I'd say just redirect as much as you can. Like, it's the safest thing. We've seen so many sites fail because they haven't redirected enough. Yeah. They thought, do you know what, we'll just redirect the, the top 20% of pages, the rest of the 80% of pages, they weren't driving that much traffic, uh, we'll let them 404. Google will just can your website. It, it all contributes to your overall SEO, so make sure you redirect, over redirect. Yeah, yeah you might have an old blog post that has no traffic that actually has got a really good link from the BBC or the Telegraph oh, or whatever, yeah, yeah. and you yeah. might lose authority from that. So yeah, just go through. Just do too much. Yeah, over yeah. redirect. Um, so sitemaps, so make sure you build a new sitemap. Um, most CMS platforms will do it automatically for you. So WordPress, for example, which is what we're on, Yoast does it automatically. Make sure um, you put, you've got all your new pages in your sitemaps. Um, one key, uh, images as well, make sure you've got images in your sitemaps, especially if they're changing URLs. Um, try and, 
if, you, if you're moving perhaps domains or you're changing a lot of URL structure, if you can, um, keep your old sitemap within there. So Google will still see all those old URLs because then it will be quicker for Google then to see all the redirects to the new URLs rather than having to remember what those old URLs were. So that's, always, that's quite a good tip. If you can, leave it in there for one to two weeks for the old sitemap. Um, yeah, all in Google Search Console, right? So make sure you get them all uploaded into Google Search Console. That will report back and it sees any errors or any fixes that you need to do. Awesome. Um, in terms of testing, crawl the website. Now, the quickest way to do this is a temporary crawl, um, because obviously if you're using Hike, the data stays in there, creates actions. From a temporary basis, there's a tool called Screamy Frog, which is free to use. Um, you can crawl 500 pages, 500 pages yeah. on a free version. <laughs> use that, have a crawl, and have a look at what pages you've got on your new website. Make sure that none of the internal links on your new website return a 301, return a 404, return a 500 status. You want to make sure everything on your new site is correctly linked and links to pages that correctly load. Um, if they don't, it just slows down Google um, it, when they're going through an index in the new pages. Um, also, as well, um, with regards to uh, blocking Google, you want to do this when it's on a test environment. So. What we will tend to do and what we did as well, you'll have a staging version of your website when it's being designed and developed. Um, so when the designers there working, building your new site, it'll be on a separate URL where you can see it before you then push it live. Whilst that work's being done, block Google. Don't let Google see that staging version of the website. Now we've seen it many times over the years where people haven't blocked it and then you get issues with duplicate content um, and uh, old versions of the site, uh, well, the staging site's being indexed along with your actual site when it goes live. So. Block it, You've, there's two ways you can do it, through the robots.txt, but the best way is to add a Mobots, uh, Meta Robots. Mobots. Tag. Mobots, that's a short version for Meta Robots. Mobots. Yeah, 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 exactly that. <laughs> so you just gotta walk around with that in the uh, the head of the website. Yeah, um, but yeah, so block it with the Meta Robots tag, because um, that really does stop Google from indexing the page. Uh, and but make sure you take it out when you put the site live. Again, we've seen that a lot of times. People don't take it out, the site totally disappears from Google and yeah. wonder what's happened. Cool, so Google Search Console is a big thing to think about whenever you're doing any form of migration. So like I said before, make sure you put your new sitemaps in there. Leave your old sitemaps up if possible. Um, if you're changing domain, make sure that you submit a change of address. So what you do is you create um, a new property with your new domain, uh, and then the old one, you're basically saying, hey Google, we're going from this to this. You can do a change of address. Um, and then when it comes to www and non www. Um, Google will automatically verify those for you now. Previously, yes. you had to um, set them up individually, but just make sure that Google is aware of the properties of W and non www. Same with HTTP and HTTPS, so it's tracking all of that data. Awesome. Uh, next part is benchmark. So, what you want to try and do is see if um, things have improved with a new website. Yeah. Um, so, uh, obviously, things like Google Analytics, you can add annotations. Um, so, we've noted uh, the point that the website launched and different kind of um, times uh, over the last kind of week or so when big changes have happened. Um, so check your performance over time, see if bounce rate improves, see if conversions improve, see if your track it, uh, traffic improves as well. Yeah, your rankings, right? Yeah, 100%. Yeah. Um, so you can do that within height, you can check your rankings before you put the site live and then when the site goes live, just track that over time. Um, also look out for crawl issues. So Google Search Console is probably the best one to use for this. Um, they'll flag any new 404s, 301s, soft 404s, all of that we flag within Search Console. So they'll essentially keep a track. Anything that pops up, 404s, 301s, there might be um, pages that you didn't remember that you had prior. Um, anything like a 404 or 500, get them redirected to relevant pages on the website. Mm -hmm. uh, Quite good track list as well, right? 100%, yeah, so we'll flag any issues there. Mm -hmm. uh, and then PR and outreach, so you may want to do some additional press around the fact that you've got a new site launched. Um, and it's a pretty good way of kind of building additional links to the website. Yeah, or you could run an offer. Yeah. Like so, someone might have run an offer. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> we have to look on the website and find out. <laughs> yeah. um, and then finally, mobile. So we've all heard about how important mobile is for SEO. Google's moved to mobile first indexing. Actually, we got a notification just this week saying that they've fully switched our website to mobile first. Yeah. It's such a slow rollout. So make sure if you're migrating to a new website or any new website, right, you're checking out from a mobile point of view, is the SEO um, as good when you look at it from a mobile, non-mobile. So if you're responsive, it's going to be pretty much the same. Um, if it's non-responsive, then what are you doing? You should be unresponsive. Um, <laughs> <laughs> pretty much. So yeah, this is just, um, I guess, a quick video. I don't know how quick it is. Hopefully it's quite quick. Yeah, I would say very quick on the mobile first. Use Google's PageSpeed testing tool because they'll give you an overview from a mobile point of view as how well you're performing as well. And yeah. it's free. Cool. Um, yeah, hopefully that's um, a whistle-stop tour for you. 
uh, what you need to consider when doing a migration. Really, really important. If you're doing a migration for yourself or for your clients, if you get the SEO wrong, it's where things just tank. You know, you do it right, it's where things can increase. So it takes a while to change as well. So if it does tank, it will take a yeah, while. Yeah, yeah, that's a really good point. So get it right first time. Awesome. Yeah. Cool. So check out the website. Let us know yep. what you think as Hi, well. SEO.co. And hopefully, um, hopefully the video was useful. Awesome. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Bye. Bye.